today we'll be knowing about Geo Route Planner, an app to get the fastest and the shortest routes for multi-stop deliveries. After downloading from the Play Store, click on the icon present in the inside the app. Once you click on that, the app planner would first ask you to give your current location. This becomes important if you want your optimization to be from your current location. After giving the permission, the app will first ask you for your preferred language. We support 8 languages today which are being used mostly around the world and we are adding more languages, specifically Indian languages now. I want to select English and I'll click on proceed. On clicking it, I am taken to a route which I had previously created on the on right page since I had already installed that previously. The other options being my profile as well as my routes. But before that, I would like to sign in so that all my routes are saved with me. I have the option to sign in with email, with my Google account or my Facebook account. This becomes important if tomorrow so you have to assign routes, especially as a courier owner, if you want to assign routes to your driver, you can directly assign it to that particular mail ID and that driver will get the notification to add the route. Let me sign in with my email. After assigning with my email, after assigning with my email, you would see that there are three different tabs below my routes, on right, and my profile. Let me first show you my profile. Under the my profile tab, you would see that the name my name has already come in. I have the option I need to live chat for support, get the customer support, or change the settings. In the settings, I will have the option either to select my distance in kilometers or miles, the type of navigation, Google Maps, TomTom Tom or Waze, the type which I have as car, bike or truck, the time format, stop duration, by default it is 10 minutes, let me change it to 5 minutes, and clicking on save, and the default language. Apart from it, there is the option to edit my profile, change my password, read the app, share the app or log out. On the on right page, you have the previous route which is previously created. The My Routes page will have all the previous routes which I have created and which are saved with me. On the, on the My Routes tab, this particular route which I had created, I also have the option to download the particular Excel which will show me how the route was traversed, what was the latitude, longitude, what was the start time and what was the stop duration for that particular route. Let me come to on right page and start creating a new route. I'll click on the plus sign. There's a new route option which I'll click on. The option starts ask me to specify start and end location. These locations from the desktop can be set as default, but let me start by putting them in. I want my start location to be my current location. So select my current location. It has already come in. I want the trip to be a round trip, so I select my start and end locations are the same. Now I'll start by adding the stops. There's, there are two options. Either I can add the stops by importing a particular Excel, which I'll just show you, or I can add the stops by adding manually. So let me start by adding manually. Uh, I can add either by writing or by speaking into the mic or by dropping the pin. So I'll just show you by adding my mic. Taj Mahal Hotel. So the options come. I select Taj Mahal Tower Mumbai. Once a particular stop comes, there are other options which are being present. Such as, I can add a note. Deliver to room 302 the stop type whether it is a delivery or a pickup in terms of pickup it routes back to the hub the delivery priority whether it is normal or ASAP I'll just select it as ASAP stop duration I want to keep it as 5 minutes 
and then I can update this particular stock. Let me start, let me show you by adding it on the map. After I add it on the map, suppose I want to take it to a different location. Suppose I want to take it to the a particular hotel. Suppose I, I want to take it to one hotel on the Juhu beach. So there is the JW Marriott hotel and I just keep it here. And it takes me to JW Marriott hotel and I add the stop. Suppose I want to go to JW Marriott hotel in a delivery slot where I want to go after 9 pm and I click on OK and I update the stop. The last option being I can type it down and I just search for airport. Because I have selected my current location, all my address locations will be shown nearest to me. So I have added three stops. Let me click done. And as I can see the, the three stops are here along with the three. I have the option whether I can add and, and go in the route as entered where I have to press the navigate as entered. But I don't want to do that. I want to see optimized route which is the shortest route considering all the constraints which I have given. So I'll click on save and optimize. And I get my particular route. As we can see we had told that we want to visit the Taj Hotel first. The Taj Hotel is put as ASAP. It shows the total time taken and how much and, and how long it will go forward from here. Okay. After this let us click on navigate. When I click on navigate it will just ask me to provide certain permissions. I provide both these permissions. I go back and I click on navigate and on this particular route you will see that I have started. I also have the option to mark done without going back into that and the moment I mark done the next stop already comes in which I can go, go ahead. I can go back to my particular app and as you will see the stop has been marked up. Let me undo this and let me show you certain other options. One option is that suppose I know that I that I should be following it the other way around. There is the option to go in anti-clockwise where whatever is the route you can go the other way around. This option becomes easier when you don't have any time slots but you want to go in a particular route which you think you yourself think might be better to go the other way around. Let me come back to the normal route. The other options which are present is navigate as entered. When I click on navigate as entered, this is how the route will show because this is how I had entered it. When I click on optimize route, it will again optimize the particular route. In our case, what we have seen is that in the opti in, when we optimize the route, the airport comes on top and GW Marriott goes down. If you navigate as original, these things get reversed. The other option being is rearrange route. So what I can do is I can to rearrange the route. Sometimes I know that I have done I have done one stop right. And I just want to see that, you know, I want to go to JW Marriott first. So I'll just move it up, click on save and reroute. And the moment I do this, this these things get changed. Suppose I mark the first stop as done. I am already on my route. And at that point of time, I want to add a particular stop. So I'll just select add the stop. It takes me to an other screen. Suppose I want to add Leopold Cafe. And I'll select Leopold Cafe. I'll click on done.
as you can see leopold cafe gets added at this point of time because i was at taj leopold cafe comes directly after that and then the stops are particularly added at this point of time uh, i can go and i can download a particular excel where i click on on that particular excel i will get the option which will show me what were the notes what was the stop time what was the start time end time stop duration type and distance and time for the particular thing the new features which will show when you click done and whether where what was the lat long when you had click done at that particular time thank you so much we look forward to hear from you